Hey guys, this is Damian with TheUnlocker.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to root your HTC Thunderbolt. To get started, the first thing you have to do is make sure that ADB is properly installed in your PC. If it's not, you can head on over here to our how to set up ADB procedure and it'll walk you right through all the different steps. Okay, the first thing you want to do is open a command prompt window and to do that, you head on over to your start menu. In the search field down here, you type CMD, enter, and it's gonna pop open the actual command prompt window. Now from here, you wanna change the directory to your Android SDK slash tools folder. So to do that, you type CD space C colon backslash Android SDK slash tools. Then plug in your device and select charge only. Okay, the next thing we need to do is download the exploits zip file. To do that, you're going to head on over to number one under section three and click on the underscored here at the end of number one. The actual download should only take a couple seconds. And once it's done, move it on over to your desktop. You can close out of this window if you like. And we want to extract it. So we're going to right click, extract here. And then we're going to copy everything that was extracted to your Android SDK slash tools folder. So you're going to highlight it, right click it. Select copy and then go to your Android SDK slash tools folder. Right click again, select paste and everything is going to be pasted in the appropriate folder. Okay, once you're in the right directory, we're going to actually start to use the ADB commands. So we're going to do the first one, which is ADB push, PS neuter space backslash data backslash local and then backslash again and you're going to hit enter you're going to hit enter after each line of each command okay once you're finished typing out all the commands and you've finished at the last line which is the adb shell chmod 777 uh, data local busy box the next step we want to do is type in adb shell and you should have a dollar sign now at this point we're going to run the PS neuter file and it's going to allow us temporary root permission. And the reason for that is we want to write the miscellaneous image and we can't do that without root permission. So you want to type backslash data backslash local backslash PS neuter hit enter. And it's going to kick you out of ADB and actually restart it. Okay, once you're actually kicked out of ADB by running the PS neuter and then it restarts, you want to go back to your directory if you're not, type ADB shell, hit enter, and when you hit enter now you should have the pound sign which indicates root access. So now we're going to actually write the miscellaneous image and flash it to the phone. So you type dd space if equal sign backslash data backslash local backslash M-I-S-C dot I-N-G space O-F equal backslash D-E-V backslash block B-L-O-C-K backslash M-M-C-B-L-K zero P-17 after you type that double check it that you've typed everything correctly and then hit enter. And if you see a certain amount of records in, a certain amount of records out, and a, a, success, a successful bytes transferred, then you've done it correctly. Once that last step's complete, we're gonna download the downgraded firmware file now. So you're gonna click here. And it's gonna start the download. 
Okay, the next step, you want to plug in your phone with the USB cable and select drive mode. So go ahead and plug your phone in. And then select drive mode from the main menu. Okay, the next step now after it completely downloads is to transfer it to the root of your SD card. So you want to open up the path to your SD card. Make sure there's no other files that are named that particular file name, which is PG05IMG. And then transfer it to the root of your SD card. Make sure it's not in any folders or any other hidden, any hidden folders. It's got to be directly on the SD card. Unplug your device. Then plug in your device and select charge only. Okay, once the file is transferred over to your SD card, you want to go back into your command prompt. So if it's not open, you want to go to your start menu again, search field, type CMD, and then once the command prompt window opens, you want to go to your Android SDK directory. So you go CD, C colon backslash Android SDK. Make sure that you type the correct spelling in. And then you want to go to ADB shell. And then type reboot bootloader. And this is going to automatically put your phone back into bootloader mode. Then hit enter after you type it in. Okay, once your phone boots back up, you're going to see the fast boot in red is highlighted. And then on the bottom, the bootloader is highlight highlighted in blue. Select the, or actually hit the power button. That puts you in H boot, and it should pick up the PG05 IMG image on your phone automatically, as you can see here. Okay, when it finally loads up the entire zip file, it's going to ask you if you want to start the update now. Um, you want to select volume up for yes, volume down for no. So I'm going to go ahead and hit volume up. And it's going to start to unpack and unzip everything and install it. Okay, when it's done, it's going to say update complete at the bottom. And you're going to have all the OKs to the right hand side of the screen. And you want to reboot now, so you're just going to hit the power button. Okay, now in this step, we're going to run the exploit files. So we're going to be using ADB again. If you don't have a command prompt window open, go to your start menu, type CMD. Once the command prompt window opens, type CD, C colon, backslash, Android SDK, backslash tools, then hit enter. And now we're in your Android SDK slash tools directory. Okay, so again, we're going to use some ADB commands. So you want to hit enter after each one. So we can start with the first one, which you're pushing the PS neuter again. So you type ADB push, PS neuter, space, backslash data, backslash local, backslash, then hit enter. So we're going to do this for each individual command as you see, as you see listed here. Okay, when all the commands are typed out, and the last one is the one that ends in the WP this. We're going to go into ADB shell. So type ADB shell, enter. You have the dollar sign again. We're going to run the PS neuter file. So you type backslash data backslash local backslash PS neuter, enter. Now it's going to kick you out and then restart ADB once again. Okay, once ADB restarts, we're gonna go back into ADB shell. So you wanna type ADB shell and then hit enter. Now you have the pound sign which indicates root again. So in this case, we're going to run the last exploit. So we're gonna type backslash data backslash local backslash WPTHIS and then hit enter. Okay, once you have once it says done at the end and there's no other errors, you want to type exit. And we're done with this step.
Okay, in this step, we're going to write and push the engineering bootloader to your device. Use ADB again and type out the first command. Alright, once you're done typing, you're going to hit enter. And it's going to push it to your phone. Okay, now we want to actually check the MD5 sum. So we're going to use the two commands you see under the number two, under section seven. And that requires going back into ADB shell and then typing the following command. Okay, once you're done, you're going to hit enter. And you're going to it's going to pull up the MD5 sum. Now that one matches up to the one that we need. So, we're done with that step. Okay, now we're actually going to write the bootloader to your phone. If you're not in ADB shell, and you don't have the pound sign here. Go ahead and type ADB shell then hit enter and then we're going to type the following command. Okay, once you type out the command and hit enter, you should have a similar output to what you see on the screen here. If you do, you're done with that step. Okay, after you install the engineering bootloader, we're gonna go ahead and install a rooted stock ROM. You can download that ROM from here. Unplug your device. Okay, the next step, you wanna plug in your phone with the USB cable and select drive mode. So go ahead and plug your phone in. and then select drive mode from the main menu. Okay, after you plug your phone in with the USB cable and select the drive mode, we're gonna go ahead and transfer the file directly to the root of your SD card. Make sure there's nothing else on the SD card with that name. You wanna delete it if there is, and then place the latest download directly to the root of the SD card. Unplug your device. Okay, the next step, you want to plug in your phone with the USB cable and select drive mode. So go ahead and plug your phone in. And then select drive mode from the main menu. Okay, once the file completely transfers over to your SD card, you will go ahead and close that window. Go back into your command prompt. Make sure you're in the Android SDK directory. Type ADB shell and then reboot bootloader. And this is going to automatically put your phone back into bootloader mode. Okay, once you're back in bootloader, you want to press power to go directly into bootloader. And then your phone should automatically pick up the PG05 IMG image which you could see here that it is and it's going to go ahead and set it up to flash. Okay, once it loads like the last one that we did, you're going to press the volume up button to start the update. And it's going to unzip everything and start to flash it. Okay, when it finishes, you should also again see update complete at the bottom, press power to reboot. And then at the top, you should have Mecha XD and engineering s off which means you successfully unlocked the mmc as well as flash the engineering bootloader